there, there are many instances where design can change the world, but we also have to realize that it is the humans who change the world, the humans who use design to change the world. I try to think about things that are beyond design. I get my ideas through living every day. It's the things that I don't expect to inspire me normally do. Sound clever? Okay. I think my design philosophy is quite simple and that is the design that one does has to be relevant and appropriate. In dealing with clients, I always try to create as many parameters as possible for the project. Well, it's really working by elimination. Because of all these perimeters, there's very little that we can actually expand upon. Generally, I think we are trying to respond creatively and what we are really trying to do is to uh, send out a, if an effective or a creative message for our client uh, to, re to represent them in some kind of a visual way. I try to be very open and transparent with them, so I try to reveal who I really am in hope that they will also do the same. As a designer, you're really a kind of instrument which you are using to, to create something. There are these few threads that have influenced my work from the past till now. How does one learn to be random when everything had to be logical and reasoned? I responded very much by, by creating from then uh, works that encourage participation, that the audience or the reader could actually participate or even, can you say, to complete our work for us. A lot of times the end product will be something that I would have never created on my own. We started to appreciate that accidents and mistakes had its own beauty. Um, but it's just that we were not aware of this. We call it accidental beauty because we were always trying to control and we were always trying to craft and calculate. You're actually helping someone to be aware of something that's already there. I'm continuing to extend these threads, uh, hopefully, in order to create new work with newer thinking. I would say that I do not have a style, but I definitely have a way of approaching the way I finish a product. Basically, to uh, clear up the clutter, distill the visual message to such a point where we feel that it is something uh, that is more truthful and pure in it, its visual nature. I would say that it's important for any young creative to be honest with themselves because um, creativity is really about finding yourself and it's really about um, understanding who you are. By understanding myself and my work better, it's, it's a situation where I become hopefully a much improved designer.